Hello friends, my name is Bree and welcome to that Iowa homestead. It's 1030 at night, we're going hunting. Earlier today, I found evidence on my cherry tomato plants of hornworm damage, and I actually found a hornworm. So, we're going to take my trusty black light, and we're going to go track them down. All right, guys. So, I had some technical difficulties with the new microphone that I just got, and it was 100% user error. But, so, the entirety of this video, I'm talking to you guys, and you guys can hear nothing from me. So I just got to explain everything to you guys in a voiceover format, which is fine. But in this first frame, I'm explaining to you guys that um, there's three tomato hornworms in that frame. And they actually camouflage super well. And it's really hard to see them under normal light. But as you can see, under a black light, they glow. And honestly, guys, this first one isn't even a super good example of how well they actually glow under black light. In just a couple of seconds, I'm going to pan over to the second tomato hornworm that was in the frame. And bam, just look at that. Just, he just sticks out like a sore thumb over there. And if you look at the vine that he's sitting on, he's already done like a significant amount of damage there. And these guys are pretty small. I'm going to bet that they've only been on these cherry tomato plants for about a day. There's the third one right there. And um, just the amount of damage that he's already done. It's just evidence to the fact that once you start seeing that hornworm damage, once you start seeing those bare vines, you need to get in there and get them off like as soon as you possibly can because it does not take long for them to completely decimate your tomato plants. And unfortunately, here in a couple of seconds, you're going to see some pretty shoddy camera work. I actually edited a lot of the worst out, but I was... Um, attempting to hold the camera and the black light flashlight in one hand while operating the tongs with my other hand like right here a little bit shaky but you know it is what it is um and if <laughs> if my microphone had been working i would be explaining that to you right now but you know <laughs> lesson learned lesson learned i'll say that so you see, I could just get my tongs in there and I just pluck that little guy right off my tomato plant. And now I toss them over onto the concrete where the chickens will have a nice tasty snack in the morning. And before I actually went over to my cherry tomato area, I actually uh, checked out my main tomatoes just to make sure that I didn't find any hornworms over there either. And you guys, not a single one was in my main garden bed. And there's probably like, 50 yards between the two areas and I found 15 on my cherry tomato plants just the population difference there is crazy to me and there's only 50 yards difference nuts so anyways guys I just wanted to show you how easy it is to spot these little guys with a black light and how easy it is to just pluck them off and toss them I do end up I'm going to spray them with uh BT in the morning just to make sure that I got them all but I wanted to show this to you guys so sorry about the lack of audio but thanks for coming with me tonight okay guys I'll see you soon <laughs> 